right now and I'm okay. Now, you see these couple. Now, you might think the girl in this picture is his daughter. That's not his daughter. That's his fucking girlfriend. This man name this man's name is James Hooker. Funny name to have, James Hooker. <laughs> But it's, but it's like this. It, it, it's kind of sad for this. It's kind of sad. It's fucked up, sad, and whatever. Uh, the girl's name is Jordan Powers. That's his girlfriend. Mr. Uh, James Hooker is 41 years old. Married, father. Left his wife and kids for his students left his wife and three kids and the oldest child is the same age as the girl he's fucking I wonder how does it feel to be fucking a girl your daughter's age see this is why I think this is more fucked up when kids go to school and the teachers are ready to fuck them I did several videos about teachers fucking students one I did few like last month weeks ago about a man jacking off and spreading his semen on a cookie and feeding it to the students. Now it's getting to a point where I, this this story ought to remind you of somebody back in the 90's. You remember that story? Woman was married, three kids, teacher fucked around with her student. What happened? She went to jail for statutory, uh, statutory rape and then she was sitting off in there and she got pregnant by the student the husband left her and took the three kids she had the baby the boy's mother ended up taking custody of the child they told the courts told the woman that she couldn't have no contact with the boy look what happened she got pregnant again and had a second child in prison but <laughs> and this is this is more fucked up because he's a teacher Working at a high school in my Maestro, California, and he's fucking his student. Are you for real that you're gonna like y'all probably want to say, well, she is a legal age of 18. No, it is that's not the point. That is not the fucking point. They say they say when she hit 18, she had feelings for him. How do we know she didn't have feelings for him when she got into high school? How do we know he didn't have feelings for her when she got into high school? They say, oh, when she hit 18, she had feelings for him and he had feelings for her. To me, that's just plain stupid that this would happen. And it's he said at first he at first he saw her as just a student, no more feelings there. And that's fucked up and he left his wife, just wife of three kids, just to be with this girl. What kind of fucking shit is that? To me it's like this. Why is a married man leaving his wife and three kids to get with a student? That'd be kinda hard to sit there and teach at a school knowing that your wife is sitting in the front row. In your classroom, and it, it's fucked up. It's fucked up. The school is pissed off. The mother of the mother of Jordan Powers, Powers, she's more pissed. Now her mother's name is Tammy Powers. Jordan's mother. She feels that the police need to investigate to find if Hooker's relationship with her daughter's being before Jordan was the legal of age. Tammy is convinced that it did. He said there was photos of her daughter on his, on James' laptop and text messages and emails and phone recording exchanged between the, the couple on her 18th on her 18th birthday. Now this is the mother here, the mother of the young woman that's dating the teacher. And it's more fucked up <laughs> that, that this is going on. 
Oh, you gotta remember she's 18. I don't give a good thing. I don't give a damn if she's 18. It's just the principle now. It's getting to a point where these damn teachers are getting out of fucking hand. It's getting out of hand. And it's bad that he, that he left his wife for a student. Why would you leave your wife, the mother of your three kids, for a student? Why would you do that? Why would you incriminate yourself? And they say, well, it's not breaking any laws. Fuck that, man. It's like this. If you're under that, it's like this. I don't think a teacher should be fucking around with students. There's laws against that. But how far does how far does the law take us? Not that far. That's BS. <laughs> and, uh, and it's bad. It's, it's, it's getting worse. Every year it's getting worse and worse with the teachers uh, shacking up with their students. And it's taking a toll on this girl, uh, his daughter, his 17-year-old daughter, about this. He says, uh, Hooker claims he had no regrets in an interview with Good Morning America. He shut down Tammy Zaku, saying that she was lying. Tammy is Jordan's mother, his girlfriend. And, Jordan, and, and it's sad. It's sad. That this man is dating a, a student. He quit his job, and he's dating his dating a student. That's, that's something else. Uh, Tammy, Jordan's mother, turned her own Facebook page into a most wanted profile for Hooker. She plastered his photos all over her while warning neighbors about the man she called an arrogant pig. She also made her wallpaper a photo of a prison cell, sending a message to Hooker should he dare to visit the, her site. Since the story has been picked up nation by the national press, she has flooded with messages of supporters from strangers. Tonight she be talk taking she'd be on Nancy Grace talking about Hooker about Hooker how a teacher is sitting up there having sex with a student. Like I said, man, how how far is this gonna go with these people, man? That this man is dating his dating a girl that's her daughter's age. Now I wonder how would he feel if a teacher was dating his daughter. I know he would have been pissed if a teacher was dating his daughter and got her pregnant, he'd be more pissed. Oh, you're a teacher. You're supposed to be teaching, not fucking my daughter. Well, you're supposed to be teaching too, not dating your daughter's friend. See, this is disgusting to me. This is very disgusting. This is what pisses me off where teachers are dating students and dating's having their teachers' babies and students have, get knocking up their teachers. It's getting to a point that it is sick. And y'all probably like, why do you fucking care, Afro? You ain't got nothing to do with this. Well, I know I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's just the simple fact is that, it's, that today's society is getting worse, where the law is not really helping us. It's not really protecting the kids in school or the streets. You got teachers like this motherfucker, look, grinning like a motherfucker, ready to jump on another. I say, how long? I wonder how long before it. He hits up on a 16-year-old girl in high school. How long before he goes back to teaching in high school and hits up on a 16-year-old? Because when he gets with this girl and gets her pregnant, when he gets this girl, Jordan, pregnant, he going to leave her for a damn 15-year-old. You see what I'm saying? He's going to leave this girl for 15 years. You say, how would you know that? Man, I watch a lot of 48 Hours Dateline in 2020 and all this. Well, that's TV. Well, there's actually detectives going on there. There are patterns that these guys will do. When that woman back in the 90s had sex with that student, she had, she had two children by this dude when he was still under the age of 18. When she got out of prison, 
she married that boy. He was 18 at the time. She ended up marrying this boy. And, and, and it's sad. Across this nation, across this nation, that we call United States of America, bullshit. If it was in the United States of America, we wouldn't allow teachers dating students or getting them pregnant or having sex with them. Or, come on now. You got to do something about this. Like, we live in this nation where the laws are so full of shit that they allow teachers to have sex, molest, and rape students. They allow pedophiles to rape kids and they don't, and they don't do nothing. I wonder how far will it go until one of the congressmen or governors or people that, that sits at the house, not the house, uh, Senate house, how long before their kids get raped and molested by a teacher? See, if that would have happened to one of them, they'd be busting out the door and making a fucking hell of a law saying uh, strict law about this shit and throwing him, in, him or her in jail or prison. And they allow this, man. I don't give a... It's, it, like I said, it's the principle of this. It's not about her age. It's the principle about how a teacher is dating a student. And this is, continues on and on every day of the year. Every day of the year. So, well, it happens. Well, I know it happens. But how far will it go? It's getting to a point where if they ain't hitting up high school students, they're hitting up middle school students. It's getting to a point where it's going to get to a point where they say, fuck the high school students gonna fuck around with the middle school student and when they get sick and tired of the middle school student they're gonna fuck around with the elementary students and they're gonna get to a point where they get tired of the elementary students and say we're gonna hit up the daycares and kindergartners and shit like that because the laws are allowing these teachers to do it they don't prosecute these people right the reason why they don't prosecute prosecute people right because they're too damn stupid they rather lock up the drug dealers <coughs> drug dealers and thieves in prisons you don't lock up you don't put drug dealers and thieves in prison you put them in jail you put it in jail for many years you don't put them in prison you put the pedophiles the murderers and the rapists in prison not jail this is why the prisons are overpopulated because they put in the drug dealers, drug addicts and thieves and burglars and carjackers in the prison while they're supposed to be in jail. Ped pedophile rapists, child molesters, murderers are supposed to be in a damn prison cell. And he was on that and this girl's mother went on Nancy Grace to protest against this guy. Thing. It's, it's, it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Man, I don't know how people live with themselves with this. I really don't. I really don't. I don't see how this man can sit up here with a smile on his face thinking it's all good to be dating his daughter's friend. I really don't. It, it's, it's ridiculous. It's, it's very ridiculous that, he did, that this happened. And he did it on school hours too. He did it on school hours. Like if if it would have, it look, it's like this: yes, if you're gonna date somebody that's 18, make sure the student, make sure the teenager is not in high school. Because you know, if you date a child that's in, date a child that's in high school and they're 18, it's gonna look like you're dating a 15 year old. Like never. And why can't he find a woman his own age? Why did he have to mess around with the student that was in his class? Why did he leave his wife for a student? It, it makes it makes no sense. If you really didn't, if you really don't have love for your wife no more, just go and get that divorce and be on your own instead of sitting up there cheating on your wife with a student. Is getting worse and worse with these damn teachers, man. How far would this shit go? And this is going on deaf ears. 
deaf ears because fuckers don't want to do nothing about it you got mothers fathers sitting out there protesting about this shit that's all well actually half the parents 50% of parents will protest against this shit, against child molestation and teachers right on dating their student the other 50s are de the other 50 percent are the ones that are agreeing with pedophiles and child molesters because they doing it them damn selves and, and it's just too it's just so terrible but I think they need to make a law where teachers cannot date their students in class while they're in school I mean, I mean, not like after school hours. I mean, if I mean, like if she's in school, you can't date them. If they out of school, if they graduate and they out of school, yeah, go ahead date. Fine, but it's sickening to sit there and see this man driving up to a school with his with his future wife. Honey, I hope you have a nice day. You need to go to class. I'm going to grade your paper later. It's stupid, man. It's stupid that the teachers are dating your kids, man. You ain't doing shit about it, so... Say, take him to jail. Take him to jail. Like, if I would have been you, I would have been on everything. I would have been on CNN. I would have been HL, HLN. I would have been on Dr. Phil. I would have been on Inside Edition. I would have been everywhere protesting this shit. About about this issue about teachers fucking their students leaving their wife and kids just for her and it, it's fucked up now think about it this man's got three kids I bet the young two youngest ones are like babies it's funny that even in like it's funny like there's people that are married and that like want to be a teacher like this like this is some of the teacher situation there's a teacher middle aged man just, his wife just had a newborn baby. He goes to work at his school and sits and teaches. He sees an 18 year old. He sees a 17 year old. Hey, baby, let's hook up. Let's date. I'll grade your paper later. Got a wife and kid at home. Why he fucking with 18? What a student. So you, 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 you say a lot about you should keep saying student and all this and that. It's because this fucker is fucking his student. It's just. Might as well, he's, he might as well fuck his daughter. He might as well fuck his daughter. Because it ain't it, it, It's ridiculous. Oh, this man burns in hell. Hope he gets hit by a car. I heard somebody comes up and shank his bitch ass. I really do. But that's a little bit too mean, Afro, ain't it? Yeah, it's a little bit mean. But I don't give a I don't give a damn. He needs to get all this shit happen to him. Cause how you know the next how you know he gets another teaching job and he fucks a fifteen year old and gets her pregnant. Or a fourteen year old or a thirteen year old. How do you know that he's gonna do all that? Nobody knows because they too damn busy with their head up their ass to do any damn thing about it. And this is fucked up. I'm gonna tell you this. If y'all support this fucker in any way, y'all pieces of shit and y'all deserve to get y'all ass fucked up too. If y'all support James Hooker. If y'all if y'all support this man, y'all gonna burn in hell and I hope y'all do with Suge Knight fucking in your ass. Nancy Grace. I still think you murdered Whitney Houston because you knew a little bit too much before before the autopsy was done. This has been Afro Joe. If you don't like what I got to say, kiss my ass and move the fuck on. Don't say nothing to me. If you like what I got to say, follow, uh, subscribe to my channel, leave a, leave a comment or a video response. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to Mother Wookie channel. Holler at me later. Peace and a bottle of hair grease.